Hello guys, it's Ryker, man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So, today we're going to be talking about Romania versus Spain, man. Um, in the 2000 and, uh, 2020 uh, Euro Qualifier, this game ended in a 2-1 um, win for Spain, man. Spain scoring uh, two goals early in the game. One in the 29th minute, one in the 47th minute. And to really wrap it up, man, Romania, I, I got to give them some credit. I think they play all right, too. Um, it wasn't a bad game overall by them, but Spain pretty much dominated the game, man. My boy, Ceballos, man. Ceballos was unplayable. Uh, Daniel Ceballos, man, unplayable overall, man. Man after match performance for me, bro. Yo, Dan, yes, Danny Ceballos. I say Daniel. I don't want to say Daniel. Yeah, man, he was superb, man. Great passing, great vision. Um, he was getting fouled a lot, man, but he was just superb um, throughout the game. Um, what's the name? Diego Laurent got like a red card, straight red card in the same night, minute got sent off. So, uh, Romania was up a man for 10 minutes, but they were unable to really take advantage of that. If they could have scored a goal within that 10 minute, they probably would have got, they, they definitely would have got a draw from this, man. Because, like, after Spain scored those two goals, man, no, they, they didn't create enough. Um, they came close on a few occasions, but they didn't rec really create enough to really, uh, push them up. At least, um, score the, the third goal, man. But, uh, good win for them, man. Ramos stepping up again, man. Ramos, uh, believe it or not, man, he has become one of the most consistent goal scorer for Spain. Um, when it comes to, like penalty, man, he he really miss. He do miss them from time to time, but he do rarely miss. I was laughing at him when he just started taking them for um was for Real Madrid, man. After Ronaldo left, he started taking them for Real Madrid, and I was laughing at him like what he's trying to do, man. But he has become very good at it, very consistent goal scorer very reliable um penalty kick taken man so shout out to him man scoring the opening goal uh i believe Danny um Sibais got fouled inside the box uh got pretty much sandwiched by two of the romanian defenders and uh ramos were able to step up take the penalty in the 29 minute uh, very confidently take the penalty and uh spain was up and spain was dominant uh throughout the first half and so um ex I, I thought they would have scored at least more than uh, one goal at least two go two or three goals in the first half but uh, Romania held to one goal. I think if Romania, if, pretty much if Romania didn't make that mistake, man, give away that penalty, this game would have ended in a 1 1 draw, man. So sometimes you make that defensive mistake and you don't really recover from that. And that pretty much on you throughout the rest of the game, man. So that is just crazy, man. So, um, yeah, man, uh, Ramos scored the opening goal, 29 minute. And then uh, Paco Alcacer, man, scoring the second goal in the in the 47 minute man assisted by Jordi Harbour pretty much an easy tap in for him man Jordi Harbour great uh pass so him to get the assist and it was all he had to do was just tap it in and that's what my boy do man he scored goals man and he were able to score the the second goal for Spain and Spain look untouchable right there man dominated possession man breakaway is very good counter attack very good link up play very good on the wing with their foot with their attacking fullbacks and and their wingers man and uh middle it was very good with Sabayas pretty much pulling all the strings man pretty much dictator in the middle uh public master in the middle man so shout out to him man great game by him although he didn't score a great assist man he was pretty much vital in all the chances that was created and all those um all the opportunities they got man he was the key guy leading um creating those opportunities for spain uh, and uh yeah man florin um undone were able to score the um the the only goal for uh romania in the 59 minute uh assisted by george puskas man shout out to george puskas i think he's a good player um he was dominant in the um uh, in the romania i believe well, under 21 uh tournament right uh under, under 21 um euros i believe that's the tournament that he played in man but he was very good uh very good cross by him and uh florin and put it away man put him up um put them up 2-1 man and i'm like damn man it might be a comeback for romania man but that was not the case um they did try but uh spain really held them off man because spain do have a very good team they do have a very good team from goalkeeping to um goalkeeping pretty much yeah goalkeeping um to defense to midfield to attacking players man they, they do have a very good complete team when it comes to about a complete team man you gotta look at the spain team man they're a very complete team they do make mistakes time time defensively especially like ramos and those guys will give away like rash tackles and rash like red card and yellow card um as i said man uh what's the name Loren got a straight red card in the 59 minute and uh yeah man with romania look with romania looking for that goal man i expect them to at least 
try to score a goal in the with the last ten minutes, man. But Spain was pretty much dominant and they still held them up, man. And still creating chance opportunity and almost score. Um, in, in those ten minutes that, that they were down a man, man. So uh, good win for Spain, man. Romania probably if they play with the same intensity. Um, as good as how they're playing versus uh, Spain today, they probably to, um, it's playing like this against other team, man. Um, a little bit better, they probably uh, win their, their rest of their games in the group stage, man. But going for Spain, Spain pretty much undefeated with uh, four, uh, four wins out of four games, man, 12 points. So pretty much they're going to have group F on lock, they're going to finish on top. I'm not sure where Romania will finish. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, stat wise, man, Spain was a better team, man. 74% ball possession, 21 shots in total, man. 10 shots on target, while uh, Romania had 26 26% uh, ball possession. They did have 10 shots, man, so you gotta give them credit for that. And 6 on shots on target, man. So they did, did create chance opportunity. Very good on the counter attack, very good on the breakaway, man. So shout to uh, Spain, shout to Romania. Definitely like, definitely subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.